I'm Mark Luthold, and I'm going to show you how to program and start a glaze fire. So we've just loaded our, our kiln our, with our glazed items, and uh, then we go ahead and close the lid, and we're ready to program. So looking at the programmer, this is the Bartlett controller, which is almost universal. I think over 90% of kilns have this controller. Um, we see that there's no light on. There's, we can't do anything. Well, that's because the kiln isn't activated. Now, when we loaded the glaze firing, we set the cone in the kiln sitter. This is the kiln sitter. But this kiln sitter isn't fully activated yet, and that's preventing us from operating the Bartlett controller. So to activate it, there's a little white plastic button inside this kiln weight, and you just press that, and then you can uh, start to program the Bartlett controller. Now there is a video explaining how to uh, place the cone in the kiln sitter, so you'll need to have looked at that. And uh, we'll just press this white button, and then that activates our Bartlett kiln controller and let's see so it's telling us it's idle so it's not running TC2 is referring to thermal couple number two and that does, you don't need to worry about that and what that's saying is the thermal couple number two is registering 65 degrees inside that kiln um, so none of that matters so now we're ready to start programming um, Sometimes other things will be on the controller, like error. It'll say error or something, and you just press enter, and that will clear that away and get you back to this idle, which will allow you to program it. Here are our programming choices. We have slow bisque, fast bisque, slow glaze, fast glaze. We're doing a glaze firing cone 04, low temperature glaze. and. I, I always select slow glaze uh, for, uh, for a firing like this. Uh, fast is not so good. So we we'll press slow glaze, C S G L, and then just press enter. You've got to press enter to register any of the programming. Now the last firing was a bisque, so it's saying 08, but we're doing a glaze and we're going to do low fire glaze at cone 04. So we're just going to press 04 and enter. Remember, don't press 4 if you want 04, okay? It's very different. Now it's asking us how long we want to hold the kiln temperature at, at the peak temperature, how long we want to hold that peak temperature at the end of the firing. That is called a soak, and it's a good idea because it can help your glazes mature properly, smooth out any bubbles, etc. You don't want too long a soak because then your glazes run more too short a soak and your glazes don't mature properly. Let's pick six minutes. So just press six, okay, and enter, okay? Don't press six O, oh, then they'll, you'll be soaking for an hour and your glaze will melt off of your pieces and make a big mess. So six minutes is a good soak. Now, our programming is done, except we haven't programmed a, a preheat. So just like with the bisque firing, you'll press this button that says menu, it's, it says delay, alarm, and the bottom one says menu, and press that twice. First time you press it, it says reset. Second time you press it, it says preheat. So then we wanna press enter. Remember, you have to press enter for everything, and it's asking you how long we should hold that preheat. Oh, I think Oh, two hours is plenty. So press two. Now that's only two minutes. So press a zero. That's only 20 minutes. And then press a zero again. And, that, and then we've got two hours. Because you see it says 2.00. So that's two hours. Then press enter. Now we've programmed the kiln, but we need to review the program. So press that button down there that says pre. Okay, as you preheat to two hours, cone 04, 1945 degrees. It's gonna hold at peak temperature for six minutes, and that's it. We're ready to start our firing. To start it, you just press this once, 
And just like with the Bisque Kiln, you'll start to hear the, ther the relays sending power to the thermocouples and to the electrical elements. And um, you, uh, your firing has started. Uh, sometimes, uh, if you don't hear those clicking noises, uh, sometimes you have to press that start button twice. Um, and uh, that's it. So happy firing.